What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. Today we're going to compare the sound of an analog real pedal against the capture of that device using the neural DSP quad cortex. This is the first time that I'm going to be capturing a unit using the quad cortex. So you're going to be learning at the same speed as I'm <laughs> going to be doing this. So I'm curious to see the results so far, what I've heard and, you know, the reviews on the internet is supposed to be very, very good. And, but before we continue, just let me tell you that I bought the Quad Cortex with my own money. This is not sponsored or affiliated in any way with Neural DSP. And what we're going to be capturing is first, I'm going to try to do a capture of my novel DI, which is my favorite DI. It sounds amazing. And just to make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to be using a little bit of the EQ here just to see how close it gets to the response of the pedal. And the second pedal that I want to try to capture is my Tech 21 YYZ Getty Lee pedal. And I'm curious to see if it works because we have kind of like a split signal going on inside the pedal. You have the, the clean lows and a distorted high end. And I'm curious to see if the quad cortex can handle that type of processing that happens inside of one single pedal. So we're going to be starting with the Noble and then we're going to test the YYZ. Okay, so I have a blank preset here and I'm going to open up the menu and tap on new neural capture. And here I have some instructions. So I have to put my instrument on return one. Then connect your headphones or use XLR outputs for monitoring. I am using the XLR here for monitoring, so I'm going to use that. Then next, what is this? Connect capture out to the input of the target device. Now you have the capture out going into the input of the noble. Position your mic in front of the cabinet and connect it to N1. If you have an amplifier that has a DI out of it, you can up to this. Yeah, okay. I don't have a microphone. We're not using microphone for this. So I need to plug in the output of the novel in to N1. So now you can see that the quad cortex just finished making the capture. So I'm pretty curious to give this a try. So I'm going to switch the camera somewhere else so you can see me and then start messing around with this. Okay, so this is the quad cortex. Let's try it. Now let's go for the This is the noble. I feel like the, the novel has more low end. And I mean, it's pretty, pretty close, but novel feels better when playing. Noble. 
it is fairly close actually, but there's a little extra something on the noble that the capture doesn't have. But I would say it's like 90 something percent there. I'm gonna do it from scratch again and bump up the volumes a little more because I've, I've read that that sometimes helps. So I'm gonna try that and then we'll see. I just finished doing the second round of the capture. I increased the input level a little bit and now we'll see what happens. This is the cortex right now. I mean, it is very, very close, but what gives it away for me is the feel. And I think the Noble has a bit more of low end depth to it. Also, when, when playing, the novel feels a bit squishier. But it is very, very close, actually, to be honest. I'm... I'm surprised. You probably noticed on my face there was one point when I was like, oh, um, because it's very close. And sound-wise... Very close. The second one, what you just heard, is Noble. It's also a bit better, in my opinion, but I'm going to repeat it. Very, very close. So now I'm going to profile my YYZ and then we'll see what happens. There's definitely a difference in this case. Cortex one, which is what you just heard, is definitely darker. Now, I don't know if this is because of the unit or because what I think is my suspicion is that, like I mentioned earlier, this pedal splits the signal and, and processes, it, processes both signals differently. So you have a clean low end and a distorted high end. So that's why, or that might be a reason why the quad cortex is struggling to capture it, but other than the top end it sounds definitely close but not like 100% or as close as the Noble was so I'm going to do some experimenting maybe I need to capture just the clean side and then just the treble side and then blend in both inside the quartz cortex that might be a solution but I'm surprised with the Noble and I'm going to do more captures of more things and then we're going to compare and test also with pedals in mixes or at least with drums to see how they sound like. And if you can, you know, notice a difference between both units. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe 
a hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.